do 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 do. Hello. Alright, uh, go ahead, pull this up, let's begin. Yeah, we're making a moment to load. Foreigners, what a nuisance. They thought I was some other Red Guard woman. They just wouldn't leave me alone. I hope they get lost in the wilderness. I think it just. Yeah, I just did the Carth Weston stuff. Carth Weston, whatever it's called. Uh, what were we gonna do? Oh, yeah, I was gonna go to, uh. Uh, Enterheim. Yes, that place. I'm gonna go take the other path down by uh, Mark Hearth and see if that takes time. Hopefully it does. A little bit of lag today, but I think I think it'll be fine. Enterheim's this way, right? Yeah, it should be up there somewhere. Hopefully we don't, like, encounter any Forsworn on the way there, because that'd be kind of frustrating. Ugh. <sighs> A 
and we aren't even close to Hendrenheim. This is going to be a long trip. Are you finished ogling the grotesque? I am one of the afflicted. I'd have been dead from this plague a year ago if not for Periite's protection. Returning to High Rock, our shepherd lost his way, and I fear Periite's wrath may consume those who remain with him. Kesh could tell you more. I just went out of Skyrim as quickly as possible. I've actually never done the Periite mission. Shocking. I've not done it in my first playthrough. I've not done it in any other playthrough after that. I've never done the Periite mission. I really should probably do that soon. Oh, we got someone at the shrine. I've been hunting and fishing in these parts for years. Uh, okay, we're on the right path. Important deliveries to make. No time for chatting. What the heck was that shaking? Uh, I'll come back to this later. <laughs> I want to get the home first. There we go, Hendrenheim's just a Really? 
Oh my god. Why the frick are there so many? Oh god! No! <sighs> In Skyrim where you can accidentally kill your pet. <laughs> I need that horse. How do you get up to Hendrahyde if you can't get up here? Wait, I have a horse. Where's my horse? Horse, get back here! Please stop charging at the enemy! Come on! We're gonna do the thing that you were built to do. Climb mountains. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> if I can't do it, the horse can. Step away for a moment. I'll be back. All right, I'm back. Ah. <sighs> 
Oh, snap! She sets me on fire! Okay, I've never actually read that message before. That's actually kind of sad. <laughs> Alright. This house is now ours. Fantastic. And of course, there's this place down here. We have to basically get specific items and then put them in their place. I don't know why it wants you to get the rueful axe. That's like the most pointless weapon to get. And it doesn't even count as a Daedric artifact, by the way. You're just screwing yourself out of the like the Daedra achievement if you uh get it. Whoa, Nordic Battle Axe. Uh, what else we got around here? I know there's a whole bunch of stuff. Apple pie. Mm. First, you got a whole bunch of mannequins and a whole bunch of weapon plaques. So we'll put our uh, weapons there. Steel Warhammer, Steel Plate Gauntlets,
this would probably be the player home I use most often. I just really love this one. I'm sad that I'm sad that it wasn't in. I'm sad that this was like a later edition and not part of the PlayStation 3 edition that I played. Like an, is there like an entrance down in the shrine, or is this just it? I think this is just it. Well, uh... Let's make our way back to Whiterun! What's the first quest line we should go for? So, we're playing Akurai, so she's gonna be a very good character, so Dark Brotherhood and Thieves Guild are out of the question. Gotta love how I get ambushed by the Thalmor and killed. Thank you, game. Thank you.
that guy got destroyed. <laughs> Civil War is gonna be fun when we start that quest line. Just passing by. Oh, some bandits. Come on, horse. That horse is going to get itself killed. You have a spear? Orcish quarterstaff. Where? <laughs> yep, I'm dead. There we go. Thank you, game. Strike me with a freaking magic attack that takes away 90% of my health. Thank you. Good lord, I'm, I'm not doing so hot. And that was bandits. That was regular freaking bandits that just killed me. Fantastic, I'm all the way back here. Alright. Here we go. Back to White Run. Take three. Third time's the charm. I think I'll just head straight to White Run. I won't care what's going on around me. Because I gotta stop taking these deaths.
I do not care. It's forsworn. The war will be fun when we go down that quest slide. Especially with all like the firearms and stuff. Not like an antique steel sword. That thing looks actually really cool. Yeah, of course the Nord sword would do more damage. things. There we go! I actually can switch on the controller now! I don't have to unplug in like that through the... Awesome! Uh... We just need to get rid of two pounds. There we go, I just ate all of my food. Need to lose some weight, just need, need to drop need to drop off some weight in Skyrim, just eat all the food you have in your inventory. <laughs> I'm just gonna pass by. I think when we get to White Run, I'm gonna probably stock up on some more uh, health potions and stuff because we chew through a lot of those. I want to know how Akaroi is wearing a backpack with those wings going through it. <laughs> Do the back does the backpack have like wing holes in it? It go all the way through it. <laughs> That's a funny thought. <laughs> Oh yeah, we got a better helmet. We might as well wear that.
Yeah, the scaled helmet. Yeah, we're going with, uh, like, light armor for this build. Mostly because I think it makes sense for this character. Keep an eye out for Stormcloak spies. Something for just about everybody in here. Give a holler if you welcome to war. Take a look. Hey. Oh, I didn't even realize I picked this up. Huh. Now let's head to, uh... Let's head to the potion. It? Darn. Ooh, restore health. I'll take that. Okay. What exactly do we need for restore health? Okay. Come back any I have several elixirs for take a look. Uh... Well of course you're not gonna have any of the things I need. But oh well. Back to 
maybe we can see if, uh, Bellathor's, I believe it is? We can see if Bellathor's has, uh, health potions and stuff. Yep, of course she had a couple. <laughs> we'll take the cure disease one too. You never know when you might need that. Any fumos? No fumos? Bad. Affect the lockpicks. Let's make our way up the downstairs.
poor Cicero is stuck. Can't you see? I was transporting my dear, sweet mother. Well, not her. Her corpse. <laughs> She's quite dead. I'm taking mother to a new home. A new crypt. But, ah! Wagon wheel! Damnedest wagon wheel! It won't. <laughs> the little dance. <laughs> something I don't know. Crazy fool's already asked me about five times. Seems he's not sad. Why can't he just leave us alone? Pay me? You think this is about money? And he's transporting some giant box. Says it's a coffin and he's going to bury his mother. Mother my anything in there. War contraband, weapons, skooma. There's no way I'm getting involved in any of that. What? And just who in Mara's name are you anyway? Hmm? Come here and tell me my business. For what? To help a, a, a fool? Look, I, I... Yes, you're right, you're right. Fella might be nutters, might not. The fact is, he needs help. I turn him away. What kind of a man am I, huh? Look, um, thanks. And I'm sorry for my unneighborly reaction. If you talk to Cicero, you be sure to tell him I'll be down to help soon.
That horse is gonna get itself killed. Did that guy just say he's on fire? No, duh. Just have to go through here. Oh yeah, I should probably pray. Come on, really? A guy one mile away is preventing me from. Oh my. <sighs> like you're in combat, you cannot pray, dude. The guy's a mile away. Why does that still count as combat? Nope.
Did I hear a freaking... Did I hear a Fushro da? Sake, Skull. Who do you think we're threatening with our old war wounds? We're not soldiers. to be. I I've got to get out of this town. Irgnir, get a hold of yourself. They're just dreams. Please tell her, Erander. Listen to your friend, Fushu. They are just dreams, my dear. I assure you that it is quite normal. It's the same dream over and over again. You think that's normal? It's evil, I tell you. Erander, she has a point. You keep telling us no harm will follow these dreams, but they must be an omen. Give him a chance to speak. He's trying to help us. Everyone, please. I'm doing what I can to end these nightmares. In the meantime, all I ask is you remain strong and put your trust in Lady Mara. I, I will. Thank you. What troubles you, my daughter? The entire town is being plagued by horrible nightmares. They're in serious danger, but I'm afraid there's little I can do about it. These dreams are manifestations created by the Daedric Lord, Vermina. She has an awful hunger for our memories. In return, she leaves behind nightmares, not unlike a cough marks a serious illness. I must end her terrible influence over these people before the damage becomes permanent. I need to return to the source of the problem, to Nightcrawler Temple. Perhaps you'd be willing to assist me in that regard. I've already said too much. If anyone overhears what we're saying, it could start a panic. I would simply ask that you trust me. Help me end Dawnstar's nightmares. Your concerns are understandable. Trust is a very difficult commodity to come by these days. I can only give you my word as a priest of Mara that my intentions are honorable. Wonderful. My Lady Mara will be... Nightcaller Temple is only a short walk from Dawnstar. Come, we must hurry. Vermina resides in a strange realm known as Quagmire, a nightmarish land where reality shifts upon itself in seemingly impossible ways. From her citadel at the center, she reaches forth to collect our memories, leaving nothing in return apart from visions of horror and despair. Who can say? 
Perhaps she collects them for display like works of art in a nonsensical art gallery. Whatever the case may be, her intentions are far from benevolent. I promise to answer all of your questions. Follow me. Yes? Need something? Shady Sam? That's his name? I don't like taking orders from a board, but I need to go. Everyone thinks I'm... I don't buy all that talk about ship captains being stern and strict. I want my crewmen to enjoy their work. Follow me. It's this way. Uh. It feels good to finally have a chance to help these people. Helplessly watching them suffer has been difficult. I don't have a lot of healing. Yes, my daughter. What is it I can help with?
Before we enter, I must warn you about the dangers that could be lurking within. Years ago, this temple was raided by an orc war party seeking revenge. People were being plagued by nightmares just like the people of Dawnstar. No. Knowing they could never defeat the orcs, the priests of Vermina released what they called the Miasma, putting everyone to sleep. I'm concerned that when this place is unsealed, the miasma will dissipate and they'll awaken, both orcs and priests alike. The miasma was created by the priests of Vermina for their rituals. It's a gas that places the affected in a deep sleep. Because the rituals would last for months or even years, the miasma was designed to slow down the aging process. Sadly, yes. The longer an individual is exposed to the miasma, the more the mind can become damaged. Those who've been under the effect of it for extended periods of time have been known to lose their minds entirely. In some cases, a few never awoke at all. Once we get inside, all will become clear. Here we go! This is another one of my favorites. This mission right here. It's because it has two different endings to it. I'm gonna go for the good ending like I usually do. Counted this bug last time I played, where the freaking stone door does not open. I got to lift Skyrim and There we go. Yes, my daughter. What is it I can help with? must have activated this barrier when the miasma was released. Impossible, actually. I wonder. There may be a way to bypass the barrier, but I must check their library and confirm it can be done. I suppose there's no point in concealing the truth any longer. 
My knowledge of this temple comes from personal experience. I was a priest of Vermina. When the orcs invaded the temple, I fled. I left my brothers and sisters here to die. I've spent the last few decades living in regret, seeking redemption for Mara. And by her benevolence, I will right my wrong. I still have my key to the library. Whenever you're ready, let's move on. More holds that the skull of corruption holds a constant hunger for the memories of others. The skull has been out of touch for so long, I fear it's gained the ability to reach out on its own and try to feed. What it does with these memories is just conjecture, and an argument for scholars and historians to this very day. certain to find more of the awakened. So, and this the lesson? What are we in like, uh, are we in medieval times now? <laughs> right. I think we've got enough stamina. Let's work on a uh, health. the likeness of Vermina on the cover. It should be here somewhere. Yes, my daughter. 
me take a look. Mara be praised. There is a way past the barrier to the inner sanctum. It involves a recipe for a liquid known as Bermina's Torpor. Yes, the Torpor grants an ability the priests of Bermina called the Dream Stride, using dreams to travel distances in the real world. Quite amazing, yes. Alchemy and the blessings of a divine distilled down into a ingestible liquid. Sadly, I have yet to see it function in person. Uh, as a sworn priest of Mara, the elixir won't work for me. The torpor will only work for priests of Vermina or the unaffiliated. I will not lie to you. There is some risk involved. The last time the torpor was imbibed could have been decades ago. But I swear upon Lady Mara that I will do everything within my power. I believe there is a laboratory in the East Wing. If we proceed there, we should be able to locate a sample. You'll be viewing the memory of another through your own eyes and with your own body. Those around you will perceive you as normal, and you will find the words you utter may not be your own. Thanks to all of these odd principles, there is quite a lot of debate as to whether this is really a dream or just the machinations of Vermina. I will watch over you as you slumber to ensure your safety. If I deduce anything is amiss, I will use my arts to bring you back. Otherwise, I am uncertain what will end your dream stride. Perhaps when Vermina's curious appetite has been filled. The laboratory adjoins the library. I'm hoping we'll find a sample of the torpor left undamaged. Electricity did so much damage. I have to get those guys down fast. Oh my gosh, it's gonna send me so far back. Yes, my daughter. What is it? <sighs> oh my god. I'm all the way back at the beginning of the dungeon. <laughs> Uh, I have the money to get health potions. Let me have health potion, game.
Joyce must have acted impossible, actually. Hmm. I wonder. Damn it! The priest must have. Imp there may be a way to buy. My knowledge of this temple comes. And what would you have me say? Sorry for following the misguided teachings of a mad divine. Sorry for stealing memories from children. Do you realize when the orcs attacked, I was only concerned with myself? I fled. And left my brothers and sisters. I've spent the last few decades living in regret and seeking redemption from. I still have my key to the library. Whenever you're ready, let's move on. Okay. It's just up here. Be careful. We're certain to find more of the awakening. Oh! I no longer need a helmet! Fantastic! I'm going to click save. They've been dealt with. We need to find the torpor. It should be in us. I'll begin searching up here.
Yes, my daughter. On relief, you discovered a bottle intact. This place looks as though it was ransacked by the orcs. So, all have taken us this far, but you need Dawn Star's faith. I understand your hesitation, but I promise you that it works. The orcs have breached the inner sanctum, Brother Baron. We must hold. We can't allow the skull to fall into their hands. But no more than a handful of us remain, brother. Then we have no choice. The miasma must be released. The miasma? But, brother... We have no alternative. It's the will of their leader. And what about you, Brother Casimir? Are you prepared to serve the will of their leader? Decided. Brother Casimir, you must activate the barrier and release the miasma. Let nothing stop you. Brother Thorin, we must remain here and guard this skull with our lives if necessary. Agreed to the death. Then let it be done. Farewell, my brother. worked. Mara be praised. You vanished after drinking the torpor and materialized on the other side. I've never seen anything quite like it. How I envy you. I can only imagine the excitement of seeing history through the eyes of another. Sadly, I am resigned to just reading of its wonders through my research of the skull. Indeed. My reverence for Vermina's machinations should not take precedence over our mission. My apologies. The inner sanctum lies ahead. We must reach the skull and put an end to Dawnstar's troubles. Lead on, my friend. Come, we must get to the skull and destroy it.
scared. I wasn't ready to sleep. Enough of your lies. I can't allow you to destroy the skull, priest of Mara. Then you leave me no choice. We fight your life. Is it Mara's will to torment me so? <laughs> and had they succeeded, Dawnstar's fate would be sealed. You have a unique way of looking at things, my friend. It's time. The skull must be destroyed. If you'll stand back, I'll perform the ritual granted to me by Lady Mara. First. Incantation to remove the barrier. Deceiving you. When the ritual's complete, the skull will be free, and then Arinder will turn on you. Quickly, kill him now. Kill him and claim the skull for your own. Vermina commands you. Nope. don't appear relieved. This temple has taken its toll on me. In time, I'll believe I will. I'd constructed a meager shrine tomorrow in the antechamber where we entered. My intention was to spend the rest of my years here, burying the past and praying for forgiveness. But instead, I wish to offer my services to you. If you ever wish to journey with me, I'll be here. There's no need to thank me. What you did was for the people of Dawnstar. If anyone should be thanked, it should be you.
All right, that was fun. I gotta go to the bathroom. I will return. All right, I'm back.
So if you hear some crunching, I'm on chips. Uh oh, game froze. Eh. We haven't started like any of the big quest lines yet. Oh god, the game has completely locked up and it's locked up my mouse too. Oh, that's fantastic, thank you. Thank you, thank you so much for this. Oh, I am stuck. I am actually stuck on this screen. I can't move my mouse. Fantastic. Thank you, Skyrim. Thank you. <laughs> uh, so some unfortunate news. I can't do anything. I need my mouse. And it's locked my mouse. That means I'm going to have to do a forced shutdown. Because I can't... I actually can't pull up the Windows thing either. Like, I'm pushing the button and it's doing nothing. My mouse turned off? Did my mouse die? I think my mouse died. Oh my god. Mm. God dang it. Okay, managed to get my mouse moving. Task manager. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Oh, no. The task manager is on the screen with Skyrim. And it's not overlapping Skyrim. It's behind it, and I can't get it to show up. The only thing I can do now is just hit X button and pray it closes. On, I did not click on the game. Come on! This is actually ridiculous. Like, it's not allowing me to do anything on the other screen, and now Task Manager is blocked by Skyrim. 
<laughs> Hell, I don't want to restart the computer over this! Ah! Bose, come on, man, this is ridiculous. My mouse. Where's my mouse? Where's my mouse? God dang it. <sighs> All right. Well, uh, to do this, especially midstream. Alright, um, unfortunately, this is going to stop the stream for a bit. So, <sighs> freaking god dang it! Let me see, can I pull up Steam? Of course it's on the other screen with Skyrim Steam is, so that means I can't even use that to close it out. Why does a game break like this? Why does it make it impossible to close out? Mm. Alright. See you in a little bit.